Libra moon. Hope this finds you well. If you have any Libra placements, this may resonate with you. I do make these readings with the moon in mind. If you don't know where your moon is, you can go to astro.com. It's free. Put in your date, time, location, and birth. You'll find your luminaries, your planets, all the asteroids. We have, there you are, Justice, La Justicia, The Magician, El Mago, Three of Wands, Tres de Bastos, Ace of Swords, As de Espadas, The Blazing Sword of Truth. And there you are, Six is Venus, Six of Swords, Seis de Espadas, Death, Muerte. I feel like the rose-colored glasses have come off in this relationship. You're past the infatuation phase. Is it going to get serious? Are you going to go to the next level? Are you going to get closer? Or are you going to call it quits? Are you going to throw in the proverbial towel? I'm thinking of thumbnails. It's a really good thumbnail. Could be a long distance relationship. <clears throat> I feel like that's a really trite, easy association to make. But whenever I see Six of Swords, I tend to think of a long distance relationship. And certainly in this context, three out of the six cards being Major Arcana, I see distance. Not just physical distance, but emotional, psychic distance. Um, yeah, three out of six major arcanas. We have Libra, Gemini, Scorpio. These readings are timeless. If something time specific jumps up, it jumps up. I'm getting a sense that... You're either going to get closer, meaning you could move in together, you could relocate to be with each other. Either you get closer or you break up for good in Gemini season. I do associate the Ace of Swords with Gemini season. And we have these two Gemini cards. Ace because it's the beginning and Gemini because it's the first air sign in the air trinity and the magician is Gemini. So... You're going to get closer or you're going to call it quits. You're going to separate, go your separate ways for good in Gemini season. I feel like you've been in this relationship for two years or longer to be super specific. Let me get clarifiers. Please clarify justice over Ace of Swords, one card. Knight of Swords. This took off really fast when you met. It was an instant attraction. You may have gotten really serious really fast. Please clarify the Magician over Six of Swords, one card. Ten of Pentacles. You have a lot in common. You have shared interest, shared values. But I'm getting this coldness. I'm getting this detachment. And you're just being a realist. You're being pragmatic. You're being practical. Is this going to work? If I relocate or if this person relocates, if we move in together, if we actually go for it, is this going to work? Please clarify three of wands over death. One card. Swords, thrice the spotters. Could be third party. That's always a possibility. It could also be that one or both of you has been married and divorced before, and you're very hesitant to 
get married again. There could be children involved and you're wondering how it's going to work logistically with this person as a step parent. Uh, it could be a blended family and you're just trying to be logical and work out the logistics. You're not being romantic about this at all. Anything further for Libra Moon? Six additional cards. Ace of Wands, Oste Bastos. Knight of Swords, Caballo de Espadas. Eight of Pentacles, Ocho de Oros. Eight of Wands, Ocho de Bastos. Five of Wands, Cinco de Bastos. Four of Swords, Cuatro de Espadas. You like your alone time. You like your space. And obviously, if you move in together, if you get married, you're going to have less alone time. Maybe you like that you only get together every couple of months or whatever, if it's long distance, and you get on a plane to see each other. Uh, could be an age gap. This person could be a few years younger. I feel like they have a lot of fire in their natal chart. I'm seeing Aries. A possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun and Aries, Sagittarius rising, Moon and Gemini. Just one possibility of many. Um, you get into these heated arguments. I feel like this person's really jealous. They may even be possessive. You get into these heated arguments And you may be thinking that you actually feel better and you enjoy life more when you're on a break. You like your alone time. You may have some Aquarius in your natal chart. Um, I'm seeing ambivalence. You're not sure you want to continue on with this person. Um, I feel like you're just... Looking at this in a very detached, abstract way, you're looking ahead into the future. You're asking yourself, is the quality of my life truly going to improve if I marry this person? Anything else for Libra Moon? Three more cards. Trace Moss, poor favor. It's too soon. I combine these bicycle decks because I like seeing synchronicities. I like seeing the same cards show up from different decks. Oh my God, this is so loud. It's, I mean, this is a lot of cards, but these cards keep flipping. I'll go ahead and take this. Two of Pentacles, those they grows. Are they giving as much as you are or are they just taking? I don't know. Is it balanced? Ace of Wands, again. Really strong sexual attraction. It's exciting because, again, I'm getting the sense that You get together, you meet up every two, three, four months, whatever. I feel like it's long distance. I feel like you're both very driven. You're very committed to your career. So when you get together, it's very passionate and exciting, but you're wondering how it's going to be day to day if you're sharing a home, sharing a life. Eight of Pentacles. And this to me is the gold standard. This is my favorite relationship card. 
Eight of Pentacles. I talk about it all the time. It's just two people who are prioritizing the relationship and you have shared values and interests and you see the world in a similar way. And the mundane becomes magical because you're so fucking into each other. You can be doing laundry together, creating a meal together, uh, shopping for groceries together, and the mundane is magical because you're both feeling it. It's just true love. It's not a fairy tale. It's not glamorous. Uh, but it's really strong, solid compatibility. There may be a problem with the moon synastry. I really don't understand why in Western astrology there is so much emphasis on sun sign compatibility and Mars Venus. Uh, I've made videos on this, how I think, this is my belief, when it comes to synastry, you really want to look at the moon. If you're looking at someone you want to share a life with, Eight of Pentacles twice. <clears throat> you have to look at the moon. The moon is daily habits and routines. Our pain body, our feelings, our emotions. Not everyone sees our moon. But when we're sharing a bed and a home and a life with someone, they're absolutely going to witness our moon. What really makes us tick. Uh... And it could be that you and this person have very different lifestyles. Maybe this person smokes and you don't smoke. Maybe they have pets and you don't have pets, something like that. Uh, you can tell pretty soon in the first month or two months of a romantic sexual relationship, if it's going to work, if the moon synastry is good. Um, I'm just thinking of this Gemini that I lived with very briefly in 2016. We met at okay Cupid. He has Sun and Gemini, Moon and Libra. I have Sun and Aquarius, Moon and Virgo. So our Moonstone aspect, I don't look at the minor aspects. I look at the major aspects, the conjunction, the opposition, the trine, sextile, square. So um, it was really weird to me how... I made him a baked potato once, and he said, don't ever cook for me. That was bizarre. Uh, he was a chain smoker, and he didn't really eat. He smoked, and he drank Red Bull and coffee. Not a good fit. And he was always on the computer. I really prefer a man that I can turn off technology with. I mean, I'm always on YouTube, but that's all that I do. I don't do other social media, but... To me, it's a red flag uh, whenever a man is just all over social media and he's always on and he never puts the phone down. I know it's common, but I don't like it. So the idea of the two of you moving in together is really giving you pause. You're really thinking this may not work in the long term. That is what I see for Libra Moon. I hope that helps. I am always available for private in-depth personal readings, which I do on the webcam, as unlisted videos. All the information is included in the description box. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Peace out.